I was online this morning before I decided to get my get off my rear end. You know what? Let's have a little something here. A little something, something. While I'm talking here. Now I seen Rex, KLR Rex. He uh He uh put skid new skid plate on his bike. And he did actually did a pretty good job. I don't like the way his setup. I never did like his bar setup, but I mean, when we do the hard job, who cares? So up to him to take them on and off whenever he needs to. Sorry about that, but um, it's like mine. The bars take them to both on each side out, top, and they just butterfly out like wings. Then you can take all the, you can take everything off to work on it. it. Works out great that way. And then the plate, I mean, the plate's not a big deal. It's got two bolts underneath it, a lot like what he has. Always we're concerned about his bolt heads shearing off. And then his two bolts on the top, it drops down. But I see, it looks to be mine covers a little bit better than his. I know it comes back further to the back of the wheel. It's the back wheel on his, but. It's not, it's not bad looking. He did it. I think he did a half decent job. Took my little. What did Tom? What did Tom call this thing? Uh, uh water bong or something like that. <laughs> it's a freak. It's a e-cigarette. Mine doesn't look like a cigarette, but it's an e-cigarette. Dropped my cholesterol using an e-cigarette. And I believe my breathing's actually gotten better. You know, all I'm doing is vaping in water vapor and uh, flavoring. And a little bit of nicotine I got, I got set up to give me a little bit of nicotine. But that's about it. So we're off and rolling. I always end up putting my food goods for some reason whenever I'm out and about in my left can. Oh yeah, that's amazing. like I just noticed that today. I'm like I never put it in my right can unless I'm out of room. Which I'll be honest with you, nowadays it's I got plenty of room in the back end of my bike. Took a lot of my tools out, spare parts. Because, I mean, I'll be blown out with it. I mean, I'm around town most of the time now. And it's like, why carry them? Yeah, it's like something might happen while I'm riding around town, of course. But, I mean, if that happens, I'll give the wife a call and say, uh, go here, pick up this. And pick up that and come to come to where I'm at, and I'll tell her I'm at. That, that way, she, there's no extra weight being carried on the bike. It's bad enough. It's carrying my fat butt around. Don't you think? I do. If you haven't done it yet, if you don't know about him, and you probably do, KLR Rex, he has the same year as the GOAT. His bike is the same make, same model. The GOAT, yeah, it's been used, it's been abused in the past, but it's been ridden, it's been loved. Kind of contradictory there, sounding like the government there a little bit. But yeah, it's Rick's. I guess a little over a year ago he picked up his, and it was uh, it had, from what I understand, just under 400, just under 400 miles on it, which is incredible for 2009. And uh, really, they had didn't have much done to it. 
he's just finally getting everything done to it. I mean, he had the crash bars put on it. It has the crash bars on it. The oh, side can mounts, and he's got the. Uh, he has some. Uh, so, well, I think they're like. I think they're KLR cases. And he's got a tail bag, of course, and stuff. But I mean, he's just finally upgraded the skid plate. And, I mean, they're, they're stock skid plates. Come on, they're just plastic. I mean, even that with the, with the goat, I'm like, the goat is so built to help. Oh, last summer on the meetup, we put a set of uh, we put a set of progressive springs in the forks, so he did fix the dipping issues that the tail bars have. But he's still, um, uh, you understand? That could be wrong. He might have already done this, not and, and I didn't. I just missed it. Uh, changed the rear. The rear shock it's still stock I believe this has the progressive shock and spring put on it um, Tom did basically everything he did the uh, thermal bob on it he did the uh, bolts for the frame of our lower frame bolts he I mean he did the uh, doohickey which uh, Rick's did the doohickey on his I mean he basically Tom did everything before I got it, except for uh, the front springs, fork springs, which we ended up doing them, doing the meetup. We had a spring get together. We did uh, did the goat. We did uh, Rick's. I called Junior, and we also did uh, Katie. That's. Uh, KLR skip 650. He uh, we did all three of their springs, front for fork springs. Uh, and also, I mean, I mean the goat is built to the hill. I mean the goat will outride me easily. I'm a reasonably new rider. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I think the goat will all ride most people I know. Even if she's a little bit bruised up and not looking her finest. She's a KLR. But, I mean, it is what it is, and she's a fantastic bike of my eyes. And I'm proud to own her. I'm getting uh, a bunch of actually several stickers gathered up from the from these guys, and uh, thinking I have a uh, pin board in my garage. I really don't want to stick them on anything yet because I I, I want I want the, something special something that is that's there for and it's not going to just disappear in the near future yeah i mean i want something that, that's long lasting for me so i i got all these guys listed up in your pick near stickers and everything and i figured i'll use little pins so i'm not ruining them put them in the pin board for now and have it have have your uh, channel names if they're already on there underneath them um, right now I have uh, Keystone Light uh, cardboard inserts. Are there. They, they got like different sayings and stuff. They're from Tom. That's kind of cool. He did what he did. And uh, that way these guys will have your own place until I figure out exactly where I want to put them. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a big sticker fan on a bike though. I do have stickers on the back of the cans. My rear cans, and like they're just advertising companies. And I'm thinking about taking those. They're cheap stickers. I know they're not going to last long, so I figured they'll be coming off. And I do want to take the cans because so I got to chip the freaking paint all over them off a little, quite a bit, and the time, and I want to repaint them. And I do have the Polar Bear Challenge stickers. No, I want those, but the front cans for that. 
So I, I, I got I got things I want to do with them. But thank you guys, and I'll be as soon as I get mine after the holidays made up. I will be uh, saving your Turner dress, and I'll be I'll be flipping them around, and turn them, send them off to you. But uh, like I said, thank you guys. This is Muzzle Mike. We're at the my alley anyway. I'll talk to you guys all later. I hope you guys all ride safe. The polar bear riders. I hope you guys be super safe. Um, remember, this is this is a game we use as a contest to challenge ourselves. But uh, you're not a winner if you don't make it through it. Just think it that way. Just think about that. If you don't make it through it, you end up hurt. Your bike smashed up. You're not a winner. Smuzzle Mike. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.